CBS 17 News. North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis denounces Tucker Carlson after the Fox News host downplayed the January 6th Capitol riot. Good evening, I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Russ Bowen. The Republican senator used strong language as Carlson called the events of that day mostly peaceful. Mostly peaceful chaos, a small percentage of hooligans. Most were orderly and meek and sightseers. That is the interpretation of Fox News host Tucker Carlson after he was given 41,000 hours of footage from January 6th. I think it's bull Not holding back, uh, North Carolina Republican way. Senator Tom Tillis condemned Carlson's view. I was here. I was down there. As someone who was there and saw what happened in the Capitol, I think he felt empowered to say, look, I was here, I saw what happened, this is not what happened, and you can't just call these folks sightseers. Mitch Kokai with the Raleigh-based conservative John Locke Foundation says House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's choice to only release the footage to Carlson was not a good move. He believes it would have made more sense to release it to a number of actual journalists or to the public. And that way you could have had a lot of different people looking at this information and shedding much more light on it having much more transparency rather than just choosing one person who we know has a bias and allowing that person to then uh, set his own narrative. I just don't think it's helpful, but I do think it's important to point out that that's happened on both ends of the political spectrum and they're both wrong. So far, around 1,000 people have been arrested in connection to the Capitol riot, including two dozen North Carolinians. Republicans have called the Democratic-led January 6 House Committee biased. Now members of the GOP see Tucker Carlson is standing in the way of expressing their own interpretation. It at least keeps it in a holding pattern, if not setting us back from getting at the truth of what happened on January 6th. And so I, I would say the best way to characterize this is a missed opportunity. And television and newspaper outlets have for months and months been trying to get a hold of this very uh, footage. Right. One place that uh, Mitch Kokai says would be a good place to release it, perhaps, that is truly seen as unbiased is perhaps on C-SPAN, which mm. we got a lot of attention, you know, right. when we were uh, figuring out who would be the next Speaker of the House. That seemed largely by both parties as about as unbiased as you get. 